bring you back to back update and information as the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe to our channel like comment and share let's go down to the information because there is no time to waste time we are now in Imba month and the month in Abaze. Parapo, Parapo, very soon will be in 2024 hope you have a good plan and meanwhile, a don't shell it for Oga Hope, who's on danger, will be the governor of Imo State. They say, who's on the mass kill up program is a fraud against Imo youth or Hanez Ndibo youth. <laughs> they don't catch Oga who's on the mouth. They don't catch him red handed. You know, say, I say, on your own, on your own, yeah, guy man keep, na guy man stay chop him. <laughs> The APES Social Cultural Youth Organization of Igbo Race Worldwide, Ohanese Youth Council, OYC, has described Governor Hope Ozodema scale up program as an orchestrated consummation of fraudulent activities he learned at the Street of Lagos at the early 90s. Reacting to the political palaver comment made by Ozodema on his dubious empowerment program at Dan Anyamu Stadium, Owere, Imo State, on the 27th day of September 2023, where he stated, I have discussed with the European Union companies, Canadian companies too, they have agreed to give 40,000 Imo youth jobs. By December, you will get employment letter and visas and the government will pay for your flight ticket. Comrade Ibayaka O Ibayaka, the National President General of Ohanese Youth Council, OYC, on Sunday, October 1st, 2023. Why querying why Imo youth should have to wait till after the November 2023 governorship election to be given the 4,000 jobs? Say that such a political statement is a Trojan Calculation stepped in devious gimmickry employed by Governor Hope Usadema deceived the gullible electorate and or some emo youth to garner their votes. No responsible state government seek for jobs for our citizens overseas. Rather, a responsible state government partners with viable organizations, companies, and or countries for competitive creation of jobs opportunities to the benefit of our citizenry. Governor Hope Uzadema is an irresponsible agent with a total lack of exemplary leadership as well as being bereft of the requisite nuggets of wisdom, cum knowledge as regards a social political governance, Ibuayaka revealed. Comrade Ibuayaka further told newsmen in a worry the Imo state capital that Governor Hope Uzadema's governorship is the product of failed and corrupt system as he has not stopped imbibing in his fraudulent street life learned years back in Lagos. I want to bring to the notice of the Imo lies that Governor Hope Uzadema has no track record of leadership experience or training. He should tell Ndimo where he learned the arts of leadership and whom his trainers and or mentors are. In fact, Governor Ozodema is devoid of political mentorship as his only visible qualif qualifying credential is the experience of fraudulent street art which he learned from the likes of Maurice Ibekwe Ibuayaka stated. Unfortunately, Hope Ozodema, who made Imo State unsafe for commerce business, free movement, ETC, is now promising Imo use of 4,000 jobs in Europe. I therefore advise the resilient Imo youth not to fall prey for this cheap adventure of foreign jobs of Governor Hope Uzadema and his guy men. Repressive government for the focus on how to humiliate him with mass protest vote out of Douglas House come November 11, 2023 governorship election. Mind you, this suspicious foreign job opportunities is a pure human trafficking and may be an indirect methodology of luring some Imo youth out of Nigeria into Imo governorship, governors and his core safe zone for organ harvesting, Ibuayaka said. After three years and six months of mule holocaust in Imo, 
Governor Ozodem Mark could not send Imo Light abroad or even make Imo State a business driven state, rather, as chooses to maintain the appealing appellation of Super Guy Man and Grand Commander of Insecurity and Bloodthirsty Governor against Imo Youth, with the gods to dribble Imo Youth with a watery political job promises of 4,000 job opportunities with evil motive. A hand that causes does not bless. Governor Uzodema is a cousin hand of suffering and death. Comrade Ibayaka O Ibayaka recalled that when the Supreme Court brought Governor Uzodema to power in January 2020, he shamelessly promised to conduct a local government election within six months of his ascendancy into the political throne, yet he is about finishing his four years tenure in office and no local election has been conducted, but only to use local government funds in gallivanting on private jets, spending over 10 million naira every week on useless trips. Unfortunately and regrettably, Ndimo are paying the price of political docility and cowardice by allowing a renowned guy man like Governor Hope Uzadema to govern them with results in, of insecurity clean of both young people and the aged by a bag of militias and non-state actors. The wheat up of the economic collapse in Olo and Okigwe that was gradually developing and the shutdown of tourism destination of Oere with his three years and six months of executive rascality on security matters, economy prodigality and wasteful usage of our collective resources and mediocrity. Low Akumen to initiate possible means of survival of Ndimu, Ibayaka lamented. Meanwhile, the leadership of the He Health Ohanese Youth Council under my able watch calls on every Imo life that a vote to Governor Hope Uzadema and his Gaimanism government means turning Imo state into Somalia. A vote to Governor Hope Uzadema means a vote to encourage insecurity, blood testing ruthless, tyrannical reign, and primitive looting, accumulation, and siphoning of emo treasury for gangs of Lagos wings of guy men. <laughs> My people who are done here, uh, as in the heart, this one is coming from the wing of Ohanes and Dibo Youth Council. Uh, as they, they talk, they don't talk, say, hmm, the promise where we say Oga Hopism, don't promise the people, say in go carry them, go abroad. He say he's taking 4,000 youths. Uh, meanwhile, you know that recently uh, Governor Hope Uzadema concluded a tech program uh, for the youth, of which they were promised laptop, uh, about thousands of them, I think 15,000 he targeted, uh, which will be given laptop for other things. And I think um, they have concluded the program. A certificate has been given to them. The first set of these people have graduated, uh, but laptop has these laptops uh, has not been offered to them. And we are still waiting to see when these laptops are going to be given. Is it after the November 11th election that the laptop will be given, or before the uh, November or before the November 11th um, election? I see the heart. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we will still be waiting and watching to see what is actually going to happen, how the events are going to turn out. Meanwhile, uh, the Youth Council of Ahanes and Dibo is saying that, hmm, 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 hmm. This going abroad, say, me kuna take time or say, guy man, don't come again. Say, waiting the guy one do be saying, not just for people to vote for him. <laughs> I think on the reminding demo of the time where Oga Hopi Hopi say immediately enter office six months there will be a local government election which has not been con conducted and he has stayed three more three years plus in the office and of course you know that immediately after the election he will be coming coming down from that office on the March of next year. When I don't see I see the hot I say onion weren't no no I want to live a life that people will remember. For better tomorrow, when you go, as you cook in the room, I have a phone now. I can't be phone now. 
nke mefu na onye gu ezi oku ki na eku o cha to lo mu nne e odila ko na adi asu na ku cha lo nenu na ebe ebe na o cha gwala cha gwo e i go dey wind down the curtain here o ma kwa wa lo ma lo onwe onye kwa lo na ze wele ze e wele ile gu ezi onu ma mo de 32 mo de 47 e ya kwa na nke gi di 56 just tell us thank you for listening god bless